Hey, this is Mead with uh, AUSquared.com, back again for some more drawing lessons. Uh, this time I think we're going to work on um, some really basic stuff and put together a, uh, a compilation of sort of like drawing 101 um, concepts. So uh, let's get to it. So uh, the other day I was working with this uh, drawing of a crow for a uh, different lesson topic and I figured that would be a, a good... Um, a good drawing just to work on top of and, and uh, explain some uh, some general concepts um, uh, and put it to use in this drawing um, for a little while. So the place where I want to start is um, is with a value scale. Like you might know what a value scale is, but you might not know how to use it yet. Um, uh, if you don't know what a value scale is, it's it's a simple thing. Uh, basically, it's uh, you take your your deepest, uh, the darkest value you can get with your pencil, pen, charcoal, uh, whatever, um, and then you have your brightest white, and then you know your light value, and then you kind of pick a middle value. Um, Generally, like you'll make a uh, a one to ten scale, and uh, it's really good actually when you're first learning how to draw to to um, to start with a value scale like on your paper somewhere. Um, because you know you're just gonna throw the drawing away. It's not gonna be like, you know, all that, all that precious of a drawing. Um, I don't mean to say that you're gonna do a bad drawing, but uh, I'll I'll say that uh, when I was learning to draw, uh, every couple of years I would throw away about a, a foot tall stack of of uh, drawings. Um, in fact, I just threw a whole bunch away uh, about a week ago. So. Um, once you've begun to like establish a, um, a value scale, obviously, you know you can work values um, in uh, really subtle ways. And in your drawing, there's probably gonna be like hundreds, if not thousands, of different values. Uh, but this value scale gives you something sort of to uh, uh, to work off of when you're. Um, When you're drawing, you'll constantly be sort of like referring to this value scale. So this is your dark, and this one in here is your lightest light. Um, so your drawing is going to have to exist somewhere between that whole thing. And uh, if you notice as you go through your drawing that you haven't used your lightest light or you haven't used your darkest dark, um, you are probably going... Um, off a little bit somewhere and in most drawing situations not all um, you're gonna have like the full range of values um, in the drawing uh, for a sort of balanced look to the drawing um, you're gonna wind up uh, wanting to have like equal proportions of each of these uh, values um, Saving your, of course, brightest white for uh, for any highlights you need to do. Um, so you can work at it in like a really uh, really methodical way. You can say, well, this this crow is is dark, so uh, I'm going to immediately assume that most of the bird is going to be existing between this value here and this value here, and that some of the values I'm going to skip. I'm going to have like very small proportions. Of, of lighter values and then there are going to be like a few um, really important um, highlights to get um, so you're going to have like equal parts uh, middle to dark tones most likely and then you're going to have like minor bits of values all the way up to the uh, up to the brightest so um, you can see with this drawing that I've worked in so far I put kind of down I put a sort of a middle tone down um, 
in the uh, in the shadow area and uh, I've worked a little bit into the head and put in some some pretty dark darks maybe not like as totally perfectly dark as I can get but pretty close um, but not over like a whole thing so I want to sort of leave some room um, uh, so that is a simple is a simple concept um, so practice your value scale it, it seems pretty dumb but uh, you might want to you know take a, take a, a, like a piece of paper and put out like 10 little blocks and one of the things you can do uh, with a value scale is um, you can use different weights of pencils um, and just try them out and uh, and see if like a, a really hard pencil will get you a certain type of dark or a really soft pencil will get you different a, another type of uh, of dark softer pencils tend to pick up more um, more of the texture of the paper now one of the things that you want to do with a, with a value scale um, or you can do is you can put two values right next to each other and uh, this tells you immediately the uh, jump between the values this edge right so if I want to create a, a darker value next to this one and put it right next and I want it to be the the same sort of jump in distance between those I know what that is supposed to supposed to look like because they're right next to each other if they're further apart it's a little hard to tell there's some white space in between them um, So you can see with uh, with three values that this jump is pretty small, right? I've kind of uh, I can increase that by taking the the harder pencil and pushing the uh, the soft graphite down into the paper a little more. So you can see that there that has a that has a certain jump and that has a bigger jump in the values. Um, and if I squint my eyes, I can see it a little better. So when you're creating your value scale, you kind of want to pay attention to the jump between each value and make sure that it's uh, that it's even. And this will just kind of like train your eyes into uh, seeing the differences and the distances between values, right? So there, I've got something that's that's a little more even in the jumps between between the values um, so this distance should be basically the same as this distance and if I want to make another value here I'll try to make another jump that's very similar in proportion down to this one so the better you can do that the better off you're going to be when you're when you're actually drawing um, because you're going to be able to differentiate uh, very subtle values um, when it comes down to it so uh, that's a little bit about how to like actually use the value scale um, and we'll constantly be referring to the to this in the next lesson and you'll kind of see some more some more techniques about um, how to how to put that like into action um, it doesn't it seems pretty abstract right now but uh, it actually is a, a very concrete sort of um, thing and that's it for uh, for value scales.